Echo. With the power of Tandem HR, you are in the fast lane on Main Street with Get Down to Business with Shalom Klein, the show for business and jobs. Now, the champion of networking, the advocate of jobs, the guru of business, your host, Shalom Klein. We are all about small business, jobs, and entrepreneurship and business. We talk a lot about business here. You're on with Get Down to Business, and I'm your host, Shalom Klein. Remember, you can always download podcasts from Get Down to Business on my website at ShalomKlein.com. And while you are there, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Shalom Klein. First of all, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, but more on that uh, shortly in the program. It's going to be a jam-packed week of content and information you won't want to miss It's a live show. Once again, it's our Mother's Day special, and you could call us at 312-642-5600, 312-642-5600. We'll be taking calls on how your mom has inspired you to be a successful entrepreneur. Once again, 312-642-5600. And this week, we'll be joined by guests Jackie Camacho Ruiz, Katie Stewart, as well as Susan Reynolds, a jam-packed lineup of women in business, jam-packed lineup of fantastic visionary entrepreneurs, people that inspire me. And it's uh, an honor and privilege to uh, be able to uh, to uh, talk to such a distinguished panel of experts. Get Down to Business is powered by Tandem HR, your solution center. You can find them at tandemhr.com or give them a call at 630-928-0510. We call them our solution center for a reason. They really are. Pick up the phone, give them a call, 630-928-0510. So my first guest is Jackie Camacho Ruiz. Uh, Jackie is a a dynamo, a true inspiration, an award-winning entrepreneur, international speaker, philanthropist, author of seven books, including The Little Book of Business Secrets, which won't be such a secret after we talk to her. Jackie, welcome to Get Down to Business. Thank you. Thank you, Shalom. It's a pleasure to be on the show. Well, it's great to have you. You are uh, truly an inspiration. And uh, among your many uh, inspirational things that you do, including speaking and inspiring so many people, you're the founder of the Fig Factor Foundation, which I really want to focus on for a second because I think it's so important on a day like today uh, to, uh, to talk about ways of giving back, uh, which so many moms do all the time. I'll call it paying it forward, giving it back, what, whatever you want to call it. Jackie, tell us a little bit about the Fig Factor Foundation. Well, the Fig Factor Foundation really started, like you said, with an inspiration. Um, I had uh, turned 21, not 21, 31 years old, and I, I had an inspiration to invite uh, 31 women for my birthday. And what I really wanted to do is I wanted to make him feel like princesses. I told my husband, I feel so complete and happy that I want to give back. And uh, that opportunity of taking 31, what ended up being young Latinas showing up to this event, sharing their dreams, sharing their challenges on my birthday three years ago, basically created that whole inspiration of um, launching the 501c3, the Fig Factor Foundation, which became uh, active in September 2014. Uh, To date, uh, we have had 28 graduates uh, from the program, uh, in which we paired up with um, Dale Carnegie Chicago. And at the end of the program, they turned out to be amazing, confident, beautiful young Latinas that are ready to embark on every single one of their dreams. Well, congratulations on that. Uh, <laughs> it, it's amazing. And you've won so many different awards uh, for different uh, involvements that you have had in the business community, and you're the owner of two businesses. Um, but something that I found fascinating uh, about, just I always look for these little tidbits of information, is that you are soon to be a pilot. So you are really just, you have dreams and you're turning it into a reality. How did that come to be? Well, you know, when you, um, one of my businesses is a marketing agency, and I've, I'm celebrating 10 years as an entrepreneur, I started that company when I was 23. And uh, when you work with companies, you literally put your heart and your soul into every project that you work with. You have to really understand what they do, what their pains are, where they want to be so that you can help them. One of those clients uh, about three years ago was a, a flight school. Now, did I think I was going to become a pilot? Did I grow up wanting to become a pilot or dreaming about it? No, absolutely not. But the more that I got involved... And the more that I learned about how planes work and how 
fascinating the world of aviation really is. I started thinking about it, and one day it was like a lightning. It was like, you are going to become a pilot. And I'm happy to say that um, my my CFI, my chief, or actually my certified flight instructor, I just call him Mr. CFI because it sounds more official, um, he said that uh, I'm a brilliant student, and, and I'm happy to say that next Thursday, May 12th, I have scheduled my first ever solo wow. as a pilot. That's so exciting. So exciting, fascinating. And, and Jackie, you're going to be one of the few uh, Latina pilots in the in the state of Illinois, which uh, also, again, inspirational. But I, as we say on this program, let's get down to business. You, uh, you're, you're a mom, um, which is what we're celebrating today on the program. You're a successful business owner, accomplished community activist. What inspires you? I like to share these tidbits with our listeners so they hopefully can implement something in their week. What inspires you? To me, um, as a two-time cancer survivor, what inspires me is life and the beauty that life brings me. So uh, this morning I was talking to my children about, you know, oh, mom, this is such a special day. It's Mother's Day. And I'm thinking about the girls that have just graduated from the program. I feel like I have 28 young Latinas whose lives have been impacted by my desire to live and that beauty that I exude in everything I do just because I love life. And that's what really inspires me. I, I always say that every, every decision, including business decisions, I always begin with an inspiration. And the way that I define an inspiration is something that makes your heart beep. Now, you probably think, okay, beep, that's not really a word. My daughter made it up. She says, Mom, I'm so excited. My heart is beeping. <laughs> so uh, she's six years old. My, 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 my son is nine. And I'm thinking, you know what? Why not every day? with your business, with your philanthropic efforts, with your presence, why not make your heart beep in a way that other people around you organically get inspired because of your own example? We're chatting with and- Jackie Camacho Ruiz, and it sounds like, Jackie, you are, uh, you are very much living in the present, and you're really you're involved in a lot of things, but it sounds like everything you're involved in are things that you want to do and that you're in it 100%. Does that make sense? That makes absolute sense. Um, I just actually launched uh, my eighth book last week, and um, today's Inspire Latina Volume 2. We had over 600 people show up, people that came from all over the world, and, and you know, realizing that an inspiration started that movement and now has become an international movement and realizing that you're in the epicenter of that just continues to feel the inertia of just pure beauty and, and success and connections and um expansion of opportunities in your life. I mean, you can't help it. You know, it's, it, it comes up everywhere. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. So as you mentioned, Jackie, one of your businesses is, uh, and you are the owner of two businesses, including, as I said, a lot of community involvement. Uh, you, are, uh, you run a marketing agency, and I know your husband is uh, your business partner on many levels, uh, but you run a marketing agency. Uh, we have a lot of entrepreneurs listening uh, to the program today, uh, many women in business, but uh, entrepreneurs in general, what tip do you have for them that they can hopefully put into practice this week, whether it's marketing or something relating to business management that you think, gosh, I wish uh, I wish somebody had told me when I started my business? Well, I think, um, you know, I have a book that has 200 of these uh, secrets that they can apply. They're very practical. But the one thing that I would say is seek help. You know, people that have already been through the same journey, people that have already expanded their horizons, they they have already grown their business, always learn from the best. You don't have to do it alone. Align yourself with strategic alliances with experts from the get-go. Do not pay the price of not doing something professional from the beginning because I fixed a lot of companies five years into the business where they didn't take the time to professionally get something done. And that would be my number one advice. If you're going to start a business, surround yourself with the best, listen from the best, and exponentially reduce the, the time that you learn those things and make your own mistakes. Well, you don't have to advice. make those mistakes. Well, that's great um, advice. Uh, and Jackie, we are uh, quickly running out of time. I want to make sure we give our listeners a chance to get a hold of you. I know you have a number of websites for a number of different things that you're involved in. Uh, involved in. Uh, but Jackie, if you don't mind, if you can share uh, a way that our listeners can get in contact with you if they want to continue this discussion. 
Wonderful. Uh, one great way to get a hold of me is through LinkedIn, uh, Jacqueline Camacho. You can find me that way. Facebook is Jacqueline Author. And Twitter, uh, Jackie, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I had to get that word in there. <laughs> oh, well, you are amazing, Jackie. Congratulations on all that you do. Congratulations on the uh, on your solo flight that's coming up. You truly are an inspiration. Uh, please check out Jackie Camacho Ruiz on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Jackie is amazing, but uh, her Twitter handle is Jackie Amazing. So uh, check her out. We'll post this podcast and share it with fellow women in business. Jackie, thanks for joining us. Once again, this show is dedicated to women in business, dedicated to all the moms out there. Happy Mother's Day. You could call us with your inspirational stories at 312-642-5600. I know there are so many of them. Tell us how your mom uh, inspired you as an entrepreneur, 312-642-5600. After the break, we're going to be chatting with Katie Stewart of Tandem HR, talking about work-life balance for parents, and uh, a lot more after the break.